Well, after President Biden announced he plans to build a pier in Gaza, many claim this will only aid Hamas terrorists and not the Palestinians. Here's one America's Nathaniel Manor. Since the Israel-Hamas war began, Joe Biden has taken a more neutral stance towards our ally in the Middle East. He's repeatedly pressured Israel to agree to a ceasefire and just recently announced he's opening a port along the coast of Gaza to deliver more humanitarian aid. But will this actually help the people of Gaza? Here to talk about this is the founder and president of the Center for Democracy and the Economic Warfare Institute, Dr. Rachel Ehrenfeld. Dr. Ehrenfeld, it's great to have you on today. Thank you for having me. All right, so assuming that Hamas doesn't just blow up uh, the port uh, that the U.S. tries to build, uh, Hamas is known to steal humanitarian aid from the people of Gaza. So why is the White House sending more foreign aid over there? Well, uh, that's a good question. It's wasting taxpayer money and uh, really courting, uh, appeasing, uh, supporting Hamas. Uh, not the Palestinian people. Everybody knows that uh, Hamas is actually taking the, uh, uh, is controlling the aid that is getting to the, uh, uh, to, uh, to Gaza and distributing it, if they distribute it to anybody they want, they are actually selling it for money. Uh, and they use much uh, of it in order to um, re, uh, rearm, uh, um, refurbish uh, themselves and their forces, and there are still many of them, actually. And uh, it can uh, risk also um, American soldiers' life, uh, those who will build uh, uh, this temporary port, which if, it, if they build it, I can assure you that it will not be temporary, it will expand, and it will continue to serve Hamas if Hamas is allowed uh, to be there. And that's, uh, that's uh, against uh, every logical decision of fighting terrorism. Uh, what the United States is doing, what the Biden administration is doing, they are supporting a terrorist organization, a very vile, a very brutal, uh, a barbaric terrorist organization uh, that will uh, continue to threaten the existence uh, of the state of Israel, uh, which is the Jewish state, which is, I, I cannot understand, um, even if a few um, votes will, uh, uh, Biden will not receive several votes in Michigan uh, or Minnesota, there aren't too many of them. And to really uh, sacrifice 10 million people and uh, the state of Israel uh, is something that is just uh, mind-blowing uh, and terrible. Uh, this is the most um, anti-Semitic uh, uh, action uh, this government can take. That's interesting, considering uh, that Biden and Benjamin Netanyahu have known each other for decades now. I mean, Netanyahu has called Biden a great friend of the state of Israel. If Biden does uh, build a port in Gaza, how could this uh, further hurt U.S.-Israel relations uh, between Biden and uh, Bibi Netanyahu? Uh, look, it's not Bibi Netanyahu. Uh, first of all, uh, when Biden supported Israel, uh, Bibi uh, thanked him and, and, uh, and used very civil words to describe, uh, to describe him. Uh, I don't know, I haven't spoken with Bibi, so I don't know how he's describing uh, Biden now. Uh, surely he cannot be pleased. And the fact that, uh, that Biden is, is uh, really uh, defaming uh, Bibi all the time uh, is outrageous. It's not about the leader of the country. It's 90% of the Israelis uh, uh, want to, or 95% of the Israelis want to uh, continue uh, the war with Hamas until Hamas is finished. I mean, everybody's life is in danger. Also, uh, the United States is not doing anything in order to, um, in order to uh, deter, at least, if not attack, uh, the Hezbollah, the, another Iranian proxy in Lebanon and in Syria, uh, and the Houthis, uh, which is kind of also very strange. Why don't they? Uh, instead, they let them uh, continue bombard Hezbollah, Israel, and the Houthis, the, the American, and all, all kind of other 
merchant uh, 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 merchant vessels in the in the Red Sea. Uh, it, it really doesn't make sense. So to be so much, uh, you cannot you cannot explain it. But really, to me, it seems like the United States is willing to cave in uh, to a minority, a very loud uh, and vocal minority of uh, pro Hamas. Um, anti-Semitic, anti-Israeli, and by the way, anti-US. Several, I don't know, uh, several hundreds of thousands of people in the United States. Uh, for what? Uh, this doesn't make any sense. Right. Well, Dr. Rachel Ehrenfeld, founder and president of the Center for Democracy and the Economic Warfare Institute. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.